Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and is this supposed to be normal? What mod has these? None of them do. None of them do. None of them have a configuration thing. What is all of this? What the fuck? Okay, so, uh, welcome back to Hat in Time Custom Levels. I know I said I'd do this on streams only, but, like, eh. What? Hello everyone, welcome to our first level. Jabrules, this is probably not your first level. It's an epic blue time rift. Try not to die, ha. Huh? Okay, have fun. Oh, and don't forget to give the level a thumbs up when you grab the timepiece. Hold on a moment, something's off. I played plenty of my first mod levels before, but this one doesn't feel right. It's just, how boring is it is. It's just a bunch of blocks going to the timepiece. Where are the pawns? Where are the hook shots? Most importantly, where are the rotating cogs that spin way too fast, or go- or those stupid sunshine blocks that break the camera? Those are in every first level. It just doesn't make any sense. Wait, is that a custom checkpoint actor? Something's definitely up. I better come back to this level after grabbing the timepiece and get to the bottom of this. Oh yeah, make sure you have dynamic lighting turned on, otherwise the whole level will be black. LOL! Dynamic lighting. Okay, fine, I guess. See if I have it on. I probably don't. Dynamic lighting. That's character physics. Dynamic lights are on. For Gooch. So apparent... Maybe that's why there's stuff at the beginning? Are you telling me this stuff changes later? Are you, are you telling me there's stuff that changes later and this gets stupid creepy? I was told to play this at least three times, so... Maybe? I don't know. There we go. One! Is this gonna, like, infect my computer? Let's be honest. Be honest with me here. Is this gonna suck? Okay, done. Grab the timepiece. We're one down. How many more to go? Is it gonna spoop me? Is it gonna force the game to go full screen and then show an image of Queen Vanessa or my face? Is something up? Is something up? Let's go back into it. Seed change trigger. There's no... Unless seed change trigger is none. Alright, back in we go, I guess. Well, it was actually a random blue rift generator. That first level we showed you was a bit simple, but this one's a bit harder. After you beat three levels, you'll be able to customize the generation settings in this mod's Oh! There's also a special surprise waiting for you if you beat three levels, so get to it. Okay. That's actually kinda cool. Also, yes, I'm playing with the, uh, Thomas the Train mod. Huh? So you can just generate a random blue rift? That's cool. I feel like, though, that, uh... I'm gonna be in for a time. Once I beat the third level, and it's gonna be scary. And it's gonna scare the shit out of me. I'm not gonna enjoy it. Okay, two down. Alright, cool. It's a different timepiece every time. Which means I could just grind this if I wanted. I guess? I don't know. That's interesting, though. Jabrules, you said this was your first level. You lied to me. Or maybe this is your first level and you just wanted to make something really, really cool and really, really complicated. This had to suck making. This had to suck making, and I... I have trouble just getting simple stuff working in my mods. Alright, this is number three. Okay, so while I did say earlier that the levels were randomly generated, these three levels were actually preset. After you beat this level, we'll start to use random seeds and your settings will become active. Oh, and you'll get a reward once you return to the spaceship, so go beat this level. Okay. I was thinking you hid some extra shit. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay, this is different. Why is that there, though? Okay, so there's nothing under there. Alright. I thought maybe there might have been. So, these- this is a completely random- these- you- you figured out how to randomly generate blue rifts, really? I'm just gonna keep doing that until, like... I figure out some, maybe there's something under there. I don't know. I'm expecting something very trolly to happen. Something very trolly. Something very trolly. Other than this. Other than that cupcake thing. What's this? Okay, blue potions. It's fine. I can avoid those. That's fine. So far, so good. This is not the bullshit I was expecting. I was expecting this to be a troll level. It said beat the level at least three times. Maybe, maybe something bullshit would happen. I don't know. I thought maybe he pulled a me and pulled some bullshit. Oh. Okay. So that's three. And now we get into random stuff? Or is there going to be... some bullshit? Are you telling me that this is just... A never-ending loop of blue rifts that I can just constantly play. I won't need any more blue rifts ever again. Is is there a point to making blue rifts anymore though that you've figured out how to randomly generate them? What? Sticker. Sorry, I'm mode. <laughs> oh my god, hang on. Oh, no, wrong one. <laughs> Nice. Is the fourth one gonna be something that Saria can beat? I don't know, man. Training wheels are off. You can alter the generation of this level in the mod's configuration. Those numbers at the bottom of the screen are important. If the generation of the level breaks, make sure to tell the mod creator those exact numbers. Have fun! Oh, so that's the seed. Right? Okay, so far it looks like the first one. Oh wait, no, they're spinning. Never mind. They are indeed spinning. They are indeed spinny. Let's totally bullshit this. Eh. I didn't even need to bullshit it. I didn't even need to bullshit it. I could totally make that jump. Maybe that's how the seed generator works. This doesn't spin! I was expecting it to spin. So far, so good. Does this spin? No. Okay. This is neat. This is actually really cool. I'm impressed, Jibrules. I was expecting this to be a troll level, <laughs> to be honest. I think I've already said that, but yeah, I was expecting this to be a huge troll level, but no, this is actually really cool. Gotta move quick, though. Some of these things fall big time. Ah, oh, fuck. Where am I? Oh, right, okay. I lost myself for a moment. I thought I started at the beginning again for some reason. That's not what happened. Okay. Eh. How did he get this to work? Oh, now we get the swing points. Not to be confused with the YouTuber known as Swing Point. I'm impressed, dude. 
I think I've seen you do scripting work, though, so maybe it's not that surprising that you managed to do this. Uh, where am I going now? I need to go there. Okay. I thought maybe I needed to go there first and then go there, but nah, it's this way. Alright, it's there. <clears throat> this needs to be on a... Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh. Oh! Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I thought maybe something went horribly wrong. Something did go horribly wrong. Shit! Of course I fuck it up. Wait, I don't remember. Oh yeah, it, it did go this way. Alright. Alright. It's not there. Over here. And then up here. Here. Ugh. Sorry, dinner's coming back up on me. Sorry you had to know that particular fact of my life, but yeah, it's happening. That. Okay, so that's moving a little fast. Not fast enough, though. Done! Done! Oh, it counted as... Okay. I guess that was a timepiece I'd already gotten at one point. That's fine. I was just thinking that maybe, uh... Maybe it would count as a separate timepiece every time, so you could just kind of grind for rift tokens. But after a point, it doesn't matter, because, you know, you have, an, you have everything after a time. So it's whatevs. That was cool. That was interesting. Did not expect that from a mod. But I guess it is the Unreal Editor, so like it, anything's possible if you know how to do it. Or if you're interested to do it. You could make this a whole new game if you wanted to. But at that point, it wouldn't be a mod. It'd just be a game. But yeah, I think that's about it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. What? Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to Cheryl, Livio, and Brian for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.